So you've got a Hyundai Kona and you need to run wiring from inside your door panel to inside the cabin. Maybe you're adding another speaker for a three-way component set. Maybe you want to run color changing lighting into the doors. Whatever the reason, the fact of the matter is, is you are going to have to run wiring through this guy right here. And he is a bit of a problem child as it is a Molex connector. So I'm going to show you how it's done properly. The first and foremost thing, you just got to pry real hard up on that. As you can see, the locking mechanism has now been released and I'm going to try and pry it back oh so gently like so and it'll come out like so. Now this is the way the connector is shaped. So in theory, yeah, you could drill out some of these holes and then drill out holes on the corresponding side there, but that's pretty tacky. And so we're professionals here, so I'm gonna tell you how to do it right. These are the products that you need. It is Term 635 and Term 618B, and those are from ConnectorExperts.com. Okay, let's peel back this rubber coating. And this orange piece is the locking mechanism that holds all of the tabs in place. So we're gonna take a pick tool and jam it into that tiny little hole right there and then pry that out. It doesn't come out a lot, but that's all that it takes in order to get pins in and out of the OEM Molex plug. Got some 18 gauge speaker wire that I'm gonna fish through this factory door boot grommet. And since we're here, let me show you, you can see that pink wire and that white wire go to the same terminal and right next to it, the gray one and the brown one go to that same terminal. Here's your brown and white, here's your pink and gray. In other words, both the tweeter and the woofer go together. So if you plan on running an active system in the door, then you need to run additional wires. All right, so I'm gonna add these terminals to the end of the wires here. This isn't necessarily the correct crimp tool, but it is the crimp tool that I have, so it's the one we're gonna use. And this is the result of our factory terminals being put on the end of our wire, so they're ready to be put into this factory plug. I've got two spots right on the top here, so that's what I'm gonna use, and just for whatever sake, I'm gonna do the positive on the top, and I'm just gonna push it right in, and it clicks, and then I'm gonna take the second one and push it right in until I hear it click. And voila, it is now in there. I'll pull out the slack, like so. There we go, and then we're gonna take all of that rubber boot and put it back on. Once that wire is fed through, we can push that back in there and then do some cleanup on the inside of the door. And now you can see I've got a wire coming out of the new speaker location where I'm going to need it. And we still need to do the body panel side, which is this clip right here. And you can squeeze on the bottom and the top. There are little tabs. I hope that lighting helps out a little bit. As you can see, that's actually marked in white right there. And you just kind of got to push down on it. You can use your finger or you can probably use a tool. And that would be a lot easier push in on that and you see it just kind of falls right in. Gonna need to remove this kick panel, which means that this latch mechanism for the hood release needs to come off. So I take a seven mil socket, push it right on there and that'll depress all of the little tabs on there and it comes right off. Let's get this floor mat out of here. Gonna remove these little sill plate panels down here, which means pulling up that weather stripping. And then this guy is held in by some little Poppers, no big deal, that pops right out. Ah. And voila, the plug is out. Here you go if you wanna see a little close up of it. Luckily, it is labeled up, although it's got that white paint right on the tab there, so you know what you're looking for. And so we're gonna pop this apart and put in a pin. You can see this one has the same sort of locking tab mechanism in there, so just take your pick tool and then pry that out. It clicks ever so gently. Here's your close-up of what that looks like when it is released. And again, just matching with the other side, I'm gonna be using these top two pinholes right there, and positive is gonna be my top. All right, same deal. I've got some 18 gauge wire here, and I'm gonna just strip it back and then crimp on those terminals. 
This is what these pins look like, by the way. So they are not standard normal pins. Oh no, of course not, because Hyundai couldn't use something universal and generic. Gotta have some special OEM pins. There we go, it's not the prettiest thing, but they are connected and they will do the job right. And just like that, we've got pins that are in there and now we can close up that locking mechanism and that'll hold it. Same with this one, do not forget to press the locking mechanism in on that one. It's clicked in. We gotta put this cover back on, make sure that the alignment's correct on it where it says up should be the upside and down should be the downside. Cool, that was easy peasy. Now we're gonna feed that part back up into the door panel hole. <laughs> That's probably the hardest part, honestly, is getting that thing back into place, but just make sure that your orientation is correct. Now that wiring is run approximately where I need it to be, and we're gonna plug this back in. And once it is seated, you really just gotta push it down, and then it's plugged back in. Now you should probably check your work. So we're gonna do a resistance reading from one end of the wire to the next and make sure that we've got good contact. Now my meter's got a little bit of resistance in the probes, about half an ohm. However, it's still plenty good enough in order to give us between the positive there and the positive there. And we've got about one ohm. So we'll go from the negative there to the negative there. And we've got about one ohm. So we are good. That's just a continuity test, not an actual resistance test. And now you can reassemble the vehicle and you are good to go you are done you now have wires run through your factory plug in the door panel and that is great it means in the event of any unfortunate circumstance where you have to remove your door then uh, you're totally fine and it won't be a huge inconvenience that you've drilled out your molex plugs and run wires through it thank you so much for watching this is 13 with superior mobile and uh we are done all good in the hood Fully done. ta -da. All right. Well, I mean, obviously this door panel needs to still be built and put together, but you know, this is this part of the project is done. I really hope that was helpful showing you how it's done and how easy it can be, assuming you just buy the right parts. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. I'll talk to you later. See you.